Okay. Hey guys, Chandler Place here. This is the first video of uh, the day. I'm going to make another video, a quick video, probably of uh, Clash of Clans or something. But um, I just wanted to show you guys, you know how I've been, um, I said that I have been learning uh, Japanese for a decently long time, almost a year now. Um, so basically I wanted to show you um, how I do that. So what I do is I go on this uh, app on the Play Store. I think it's on the App Store too, so you go search that up if you want to learn any languages or uh, study any any subject or anything really. It's just like a flashcard system, but it's like an intelligent flashcard sim uh, system kind of thing. So what it does is um, it gives you, like you put in a word or, you know, an equation if it's like math or something or, you know, just a simple question. And um, you also put in the answer on the other side or whatever. So what it does is when you put them in, every single day it'll show you a word. So, you know, let's say the word is like, um, you know, if it's Spanish, it's uh, casa. And casa uh, in Spanish is uh, house. So... Um, you'd put casa on one side and then you put house on the other and, um, you know, you, it'll give you the card or whatever, um, in a day and it asks you like, do you know the word or whatever? And then you click show answer and there are like, uh, the first day, I believe there's two options. There is like, uh, like didn't get or there's got it basically. Uh, and if you got it, then it'll show you like the next day. If you didn't get it, it'll show you in like, you know, right away. If it's your only card, obviously it's going to show you right away because, it, you know, you get to do it as much as you want, but it kind of gives you like a limit of things because, okay, I'll show you. So you see all these, it tells me how many cards on the right side that I need to do. I haven't really been doing the other ones. I've usually done, I'm mostly doing the words to remember. So let's go ahead and do that. So economics. In, in Japanese, economics is keizai. So... Keizai, there we go, and then I have again, I have hard, I have good and easy. This one I'd say was good. I don't, I'm not 100% sure because sometimes I uh, forget it. So smart would be atama ga i, so let's check that. Atama ga i, this one was easy, so it'll show me in 24 days if I click easy. So yokatara, that one's also very easy. So this one will show me in four days because I haven't done it as much as uh, the last one. So or I have like clicked again before. Like, uh, let's say um, every single time something showed up, I get it right. But um, if you get it wrong, it'll show you more often. Like even if you've been getting it to the point where, you know, it's been like, it tells you like two months, it'll show you it again in two months. It shows you again in two months and you get it wrong. Then it's gonna start showing you, you know, every like five days. And then it'll, of course, keep moving up. And it kind of keeps your brain refreshed. Um, so you keep, uh, keep that memory intake for your language or, you know, math equations or, you know, anything like that. So whatever you want to learn, you can use this app. I'm not sponsored at all, but I like it. So uh, number is uh, number phone number. I mean, it's not technically only phone number, but I'm not sure what other way to use it yet. I, I believe there are ways. But when you're, like, asking for something, I guess, it's bango. So... Uh, bango, there we go. There's easy, okay, to work for would be tsutomeru. Okay, and then I also want to show you something before we end the video there, because I'm, I'm just going to do the rest later. But um, how I learned the uh, katakana and hiragana is um, this. Hold on. Just kana, right there. Okay, so this app, of course not sponsored again, it kind of gives you, like, a thing, because, like, each... Each thing uh, has a different sound. So it's like letters, but it's like syllables instead of letters. Um, that makes any sense. So these are the vowels at the top. A, E, U, E, O in that order. See how U kind of looks like a U with a line on top? That's U. So we go over there. And I like to do these, this, because it's these. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, but so this one would be E. So I, I, got, it, I got it right. So... I would have to go through every single one of them and it would tell me if I'm right, this one's new, this one's new, uh, this one's ba, this one's, I've done this so much I understand now. 
So this one's ch this one's uh gu yo, 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 that's yo. So yeah. And of course if you don't get it right, it tells you you didn't get it right, let's say I say gold. But it's not, it's bull. So uh, like that. So that's how that works, but I know all these, so it's not gonna be a problem. Um that would be pure. Okay, so yeah, those are like the two main apps I used to learn katakana, hiragana, and um, learn some vocabulary. And not only that, I also used a book called Genki. There's a book, uh, well, there's actually like two books. I technically, there's there's technically four. There is the regular uh, textbook one, and there's the regular textbook two, and there's also a workbook for each. So <coughs> basically, and they also give you discs, discs in each one of them. So it, it teaches you grammar, it teaches you words, it, te it teaches you kanji. The kanji system, how it teaches you, is not that great, but I would very, very suggest if you're going to learn Japanese for some reason, uh, like I am, then that's a great way to do it. Genki is great to learn Japanese because it's really helping me because I was very, very confused on the grammar before I, I started Genki. I'm like halfway through it or something like that of uh, Genki 1, so that <laughs> and I, I mean I don't have anyone else to use it with it's like supposed to be like a school kind of textbook so that's unfortunate but you know um but yeah but that yeah those are basically the three things I mostly use and I also go ahead and um you know I try to listen to as much Japanese as possible like Japanese music um you know Japanese YouTube videos like people talking uh people trying to learn j uh, without subtitles without subtitles I try to watch people that are trying to learn Japanese talk to native speakers, so I have to figure out what they're saying. But it's a little bit easier because the native speakers are going a tiny bit easier on the people that are learning Japanese, so I'm also able to understand, if that makes any sense. So yeah, those are that's basically what I wanted to talk to you about, just in case any of you were uh, wondering how I'm doing on that, which I don't think any of you did. I just wanted to share it, so yeah. Um, so hope you guys are ready for the next video, which will be like Clash of Clans or something, but uh, yeah, like always, peace.